Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey 78 here, and today I've got some flips for you. And then uh, this is basically all we did. Uh, me and April, um, kind of our first weekend ready for the summer. Um, first time we've really been out to do this. Uh, we went out to one subdivision, and hold on, I could probably count one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. It was a 90 house subdivision, is how they. Or how they actually announced this was that there was going to be 90 houses doing the yard sales. But the subdivision had 9 out of the 90 homes in the subdivision doing it. Um, so I was kind of lucky to find anything at all. But we did find some stuff. And I've already made my money back on two sales. Alright, so I'm going to go through this. But before I go through the game stuff, I'm going to go through the stuff that I took a gamble on. And this stuff here is a new feature that me and April have been working on the past year, year and a half. And we got into this because of another YouTuber um, chased after the right price. We saw him doing this and we're like, huh, can we make money on that stuff too? So we um, have done it twice now and each time we make quite a bit of money off of this stuff. And I'm going to try it yet again. Um, everything in this box I bought for right around 25 bucks. So um, I'm actually going to set the table down because it's pretty heavy. And you guys already seen, you know, mainly the table. All right, so that means I'm just going to hold things up so you guys can see it because it's kind of difficult to hold. And what I'm talking about is antique old camera equipment um i've already got all this stuff already on ebay but this stuff if you can get it cheap enough it will sell for a fairly good amount of money um i bought i bought everything in here i bought for twenty dollars except for um ah, the camera in this bag with the lenses and stuff that came with it as everything falls not expecting that all right so um got this old super 8 reel with a hand grip like i said all this was a um, 20 dollar he had five dollars a piece on it he said he didn't think any of this stuff worked. Um, an old Kodak Motoratic or Motormatic. Um, what was this one? This was the German Braun camera. Um, this is the Onsco. Something made in New York is what it said. Um, a neat Polaroid here. But yeah, all that I got for, it was supposed to be five bucks. I talked to him. I said, I'll take the whole box off your hands for um, $20. The guy agreed. One of the neat things I thought was, um, but then I found a lot of them online. Um, a Kodak color negative film expired in September of 62, still sealed. But um, I bought all that for 20 bucks, And I'm pricing it out online. Um, I just threw it up on auctions for $10 a piece. If I get 10 a piece for it, I'm happy. I'm in the plus. If it goes up, I'm still you know in the plus. Everything else here was $60. So the games, I got a system here, some controllers, and another camera that I'm going to show you guys. All right, so this camera with this bag, um, uh, Minota at maximum 7,000. I don't know why it's discolored. I put as, as is, not working. Um, came with a flash bar. But I'm going to sell th this like it is because I'm not sure if that's working or not. But... 
the jewel of it was are these two lenses that came with it um, one was a 35 to 80 and the other one's 80 to 200 um, these go for a pretty penny so I'm gonna get rid of those and like I said I bundled this in for $60 with this um, video game stuff I got and then the next thing I saw was these ex um, effects cards that go with the camera um, I saw an uh, auction in in the sold listings for almost fifty dollars for just four of these. I've got seven here, so I was like, "Yeah, let's throw that up and see where it goes." And as I was me shooting this video, all that's live. Um, I, you know, there's a short window this summer for me in April to buy and flip. Because she's not as good as I am about going up there, making deals, knowing what to grab, and doing that type of stuff. Um, but as you guys see here, there's quite a bit of stuff here. And that last camera with the lenses and effects cards, I got all that and this for $60. Now, honestly, I've already made my money back. Yes, before I even shot the video, um, I've got this stack and a few games in this stack already online. Um, one game sold made my money back almost for the whole entire day. That, that's the joy of this business. Um, what I've done is, and this is, I think this is going to be an ongoing trend with me. If the games on price charting aren't worth ten dollars i think i'm just gonna throw them all i'm not even gonna clean stickers not even gonna polish them i'm gonna group them up till i can fit a medium size um box for yeah. for flat rate shipping once i get that i'll um, put it on there as an auction start it out at a dollar a game and let the auction go people can bid all they want Right now, I've got an auction for PS3 games, as is. And I'll go through what was in this stack of the cheap ones. We have Elder Rolls Skyrim, Rainbow Six Vegas. Remember, I'm saying anything that's under $10. Uh, Resistance, Fall of Man, Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto V, basically loose, Madden 11, Gran Turismo 5, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. Now this one here, it's really beat up. There's no outside of the case. Inside, I have two games, Army of Two and Army of Two 40 Days. And both of them had the manuals in here. But it, the case one of these were in, it looked like a dog had just gnawed half the case away. So I kind of just stuck them in. They're going in the bundle. Sleeping Dogs, Madden 08, UFC 09, Deus Ex, Far Cry 3, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, Call of Duty, Stuntman, and Dishonored. Like I said, there's other PS3 games that I had that were cheaper. I'm just bundling it all together and letting it go, letting it ride. Because I don't... I, I'm noticing on eBay... It, the, you got cheap games. People don't want to pay shipping. They want you to push put free shipping. And then they nickel and dime you for the game being a dollar or two dollars. I'm not dealing with that or dealing with the free shipping because, hey, you're paying my shipping cost. I'm not paying for you, you to ship the game. And I'm not lowering the price so you can ship it. That, that's just... Shipping, you know, hey, it should, I've said this before in my unboxing videos. You're either going to drive or you're going to go find the game yourself. You're going to pay for gas. You're going to pay for going out and getting it. You need, need to pay for shipping when you're, you're buying some. If you get it free shipping, great. Then you should be paying a couple bucks more for it because you're, that person's paying out of their pocket to ship it to you. Now, these are the games that were a little more pricey, or I haven't decided anything to do with them yet, because the PS4 games are shit. Now, right here on the top, 
this is what made me my money back and I did not know that this was in the lot. This wasn't even the game that got me to buy the lot. Because the lady, I, I'll I stop right here and I'll tell you the, right now. The lady had a PS3 and a PS2, both for five bucks. I was like, wow. But these kids were buying the PS3, so I was leaving it alone. They bought a, a camo controller and they bought one of the PS4 games. I don't even know what it was. But the games were $2 a piece. The controllers were $2 a piece, which I wish I wouldn't have got. And I did pick up the PS2 that's sitting here next to me. So, the game, I'll do this one first. This is what made me pick up the whole lot and make a deal for it. Scarface. It's complete, in really good condition. This game sells for right around 50 to 55 bucks. So, this is on eBay as I'm doing this. Whether or not it's sold yet or not, I do not know. But, I got home, started going through things, and I found this. And this is in excellent condition the godfather the don's edition and i'll put it up here now i sold this for 75 dollars that was sweet um that right there like i said between the camera and this i spent 80 dollars all day this almost pays for the day out going through the sub subdivision then um i got mafia 2 it's already online because it's you know, up there. Um, I haven't put Oblivion online. It's above 10. I I had no clue what this game. I've never even heard of it. But I got to clean the sticker off of it. But Civil War Secret Missions. It's almost a $20 game. Call of Duty 3. Got to clean it up. The Godfather Part 2. Uh, don't know what to do with this yet. It's a state of emergency. It's a um, rental copy. It's not the original case and it's got writing and everything. It's a blockbuster copy. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I got four PS4 games that were kind of just thrown in. Um, Elder Scrolls Online. Destiny. I'm getting a collection of these. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with them. Fallout 4. And I'm getting a collection now of Titanfall 2. Um, Saints Row 2, I still need to put online, um, Army of Two, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Yeah, so, like I said, I, I, I did good, Godfather sold, um, person didn't even haggle at 75, they just took it. Um, I had four controllers, but when I got home, I realized one of them was an off-brand, um, PS3 controller. I just took it and pitched it. Um, this is a PS2 Slim. It's beat up. I still haven't tested it. So, eh, I don't know if it's going to work. But for $5, I'll take a chance on it. I mean, it came with the battery pack, the hookup to the TV, a PS2 controller that I got to clean dog hair off of. I mean, I don't know what kind of dog they got, but they need to control it. It had a memory card with it. Um, I got this really nice looking white PS3 controller and I sold it for $10 almost immediately to, um, Bandana Gamer. He's going to take it. Um, it's not working, so he'll probably get a battery for it. He'll clean it up a little bit, but it's, it's a nice little, um, white controller. Then I got, um, two other PS3 controllers that I'm going to have to use for parts. Um, I don't think the batteries work in them. Uh, you can tell here the dog chewed the hell out of these controllers. Like I said, I was trying to make a deal real quick to get them cheaper. I saw the Scarface. I saw the Don's game. So just between those two games, I'm going to make my money back. If this works, it's golden. Then um, in the lot too, I found this. It was in, the ch in there. It's a... 2 gig um, hard drive, external hard drive. And it's got his um, PlayStation 3 extra stuff saved on it because you know couldn't fit it all on the hard drive. I'm going to purge this and probably try to sell it. And not bad. I mean, I don't need another external hard drive like this. So, so yeah, 
that'll be if i start doing pickup videos this will be my new pickup thing um what i'm picking up to flip what you guys see um i kind of got carried away when i got home and got quick and started putting the stuff online and made quite a bit of money off this so so far this weekend it's been a good weekend because um you guys know a few videos back i had that facebook marketplace deal where i bought the n64 and got a repro i sold that system and a couple extra controllers and a, ga a couple extra games to a girl at work for 155 and i honestly used that money to go do this so right now i'm taking that money and i'm just rolling it over and that's kind of my goal until i have my surgery in late june and I, i'm gonna keep doing that keep putting things online and keep selling that's gonna be the new new go-to for the channel like i said from now on i'm only gonna keep what i'm going to play or what i really really want um and I might be doing a video soon on what am I wanting to play? What am I looking for? That might be something that I'll do once I get, I got one more week of work before I'm laid off, before my surgery and for the whole summer, I'm off work. So once I get that point, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm looking for and what I really, really want to play. <coughs> so this has been Retro Mikey 78. I'll catch you guys back soon.